what's going on guys first i want to say to all the fathers out there happy father's day because i'm shooting this video right now on uh, father's day towards the end of it i had a busy busy father's day with work and everything i'm gonna sit down because i've been running around all weekend it's been a stressful week on the board. but uh i thought it was appropriate to make this video now after this little intro you're gonna see some past video from a couple weeks ago when I was selling parts and I was parting out and taking apart my 2000 CRV EX, the automatic window lift, the one that many of you guys know, even though technically it was the second uh, lifted CRV because my 99 was originally when I lifted it and got sponsored with HRG and started the whole lifted craze for myself uh, and my whole start and run with HRG started with my 99 uh, five-speed EX. But uh, what everybody kind of found into, that a lot of people found me from that, but kind of moved on to uh, and found more was the uh, 2000 EX, uh, which is a uh, mist that was actually, you know, uh, let me say a moment on that. Uh, and it may sound silly, but to car guys watching this, they'll understand. Uh, it's kind of like giving it a send-off. Uh, it was uh, the first year we ever bought. I bought it for my wife. It was lifted on Old Man Emu Springs, and it had, uh, uh, I, I can't remember the exact, I think 235, 75, 15 inch all-terrain tires that I have uh, on, on it, or had on it at the time of its end of its life, I guess you'd say. Um, but I had the mud tires. At that time, I had all terrains. I had steel wheels. Um, They're steel, um, kind of like look like trailer wheels. They look they didn't look bad. Um, maybe I'll try to find a picture of it and put it up in here. Uh, when I first got it, and that was it. Other than that, and it had bad radiator fan, like a few other things. I mean, there were some issues. With it. And then I got it for I think like 20, 22. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. It's late, and like I said, it's been a busy weekend. I mean, I've had calls and we have at three in the morning and just stupid stuff this week. Um, anyways, uh, it was uh, my first CRV, it was my venture into the CRV world, and it was a good one. I mean, god, that thing lasts us driving back and forth from Florida to South Dakota, driving all around, all the abuse you guys saw me put it through off roading in the Black Forest. To, um, uh, Florida, through all the red clay, through some of the freaking water and rivers, through uh, uh, the snow in South Dakota. I mean, just that was a good CRV. So, uh, and again, if you're watching this, you're not a car guy, you're not gonna understand, you're not gonna get it. Uh, but for you car guys, and mainly most of you car guys probably watch this, true car guys, enthusiasts you'll understand your love for your vehicle. Um, that was good. That was my wife's baby, too. I mean, she helped me build it and helped me go along with it and uh, really put some time and work in it. She learned a lot with it uh, to the point where, I mean, she came out and helped me put swap the exhaust on both preludes and go through all that. And, you know, for that, uh, it was really cool. Neat thing that she did. Uh, what's up, sweetie? Soon. Soon. I'll be up there in a minute, okay? Yes, yep, go ahead. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, that's my daughter. Um, so, it was uh, very special to us. Let's say, you know, going back there. Very special, put a lot of work in it. And it's very sad because pictures came up today. Today, uh, where I had all the windows tinted, freshly tinted. Uh, whew, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm tired. Uh, freshly tinted. That thing was looking crisp. Man. It was looking good. That's where, just after you know, a few months, a year ago, a few months ago, I had pulled the motor out. I had cleaned everything, degreased everything, new timing belt, new oil pump, new gaskets everywhere. Um, you know, new fluids, new the G plus radiator hoses. I mean, new drive shaft, exhaust, the 1321 or sorry, 1320 on the OBX cat back exhaust, 1320 test pipe, um, the 
true heart, everything, you know, the HRG four inch lift kit complete, you know, the ultimate package once we figured everything out. Um, I mean, it was solid other than when it got, and that was even after it got hit and I put the new doors on, straightened everything out. And all I had was that little dent in the back and uh, I had knocked out a lot of the dents and uh, smooth. I mean, that, how you guys saw it, a lot of those videos. It looked good and it ran good for 260,000 miles. That thing still shifted. Like, per, I still have the transmission for sale. And, you know, yeah, I'm only selling it for 150 bucks, which is a deal. Um, I honestly could probably get more out of that transmission. I put all new sensors, everything. I mean, that thing's. I, I had fun with it constantly. And uh, I don't know, guys. I'll stop rambling on for that, but it was a good damn. And I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. I mean, although, you know, I got my 99, and uh, that's my baby. As far as the CRV goes, the 93 Prelude is definitely an eye all the time. But the only thing that beat my 93 Prelude, you know, for me, for a car guy, is if I had, uh, I would say, a 1990 or 91 NSX, or another uh, 2000, S2000 in great shape. It had to be in very good shape, not beat. Or another 89 to 91 Honda Prelude. SI four wheel steering. Those are the three cars that uh, that would be right next to that, but I couldn't get rid of. Um, my CRV, I love them. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm probably gonna have a lot of CRV followers hate me for this. I love my CRVs. I do. They are great vehicles, but they're not super to my heart like those ones. You know what I mean? They're uh, they're a special vehicle and cool. They really are, but uh, they're more so, they're a very special vehicle to do what they're meant to do. Uh, let's say that. They're, they're, they're meant to travel, to drive around, to have fun. You can build them to be fast, build them to do off-road stuff, but that's still not their perfect element. They're like that perfect in-between vehicle, uh, that perfect daily driver, that perfect family vehicle, but yet still fun. Um, if I had to choose a vehicle for that, perfect for an older Honda that, I mean, they're great. Right up there with the first and second gen Honda Odysseys. Love them to death, but I can move on and, and move through them with different ones. Um, my 93 Prelude and, and then my S2000, my 89 Prelude SI, for wheel steering. Uh, those are all tough and I still miss them. They're part of my heart. I don't know. I fucking almost 300 cars in there. Um, but that, that CRV had a special place in my heart too because that's what brought me into the CRV world. Um, that was a very, uh, I didn't expect, you know, I bought it and I was like, oh, cool, you know, I've always wanted a first gen CRV. They're awesome looking, which, by the way, I still think is the best generation and best looking CRV. Uh, don't, I don't get me wrong, I like a lot of the other CRVs, so don't take it that way, but uh, I still think the first gen is definitely the, the cleanest, the meanest, and the best. They look good lowered, they look good lifted, they, they look good stock, they're very, uh, very sexy, very good looking SUV. Um, if you really take the time to look at that and appreciate the time they put into those first gens, Honda knew what they were doing. Uh, but still, for me, um, I could move past the CRV. I could be like, okay, you know, when the time is up, there will be a time where I'm like, alright, you know, I'm done with it. Uh, and I will say... I got some, some surprises, but I, I am coming towards the end of my road with the CRV. It's gonna, for you guys that want content, it is going to be a long end of the road. I'm gonna take my time and there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming. In fact, I feel bad that I haven't had as much content. But life has been very busy, but things are getting back on track for me and uh, there will be um, much more content for the CRV, for the Preludes. And just in general, uh, it's starting to come together. As as for life, everybody I think has been hectic and everything's been thrown aside. The whole COVID stuff, and all the other BS, and just what the world's going through. I think everybody has been like, "Holy shit!" You know, uh, lots of things changing. So um, for me, it's kind of catching back up. And uh, I'm gonna be very busy still with work and and building the Ram too. I, I really like that. I always like that. I always have. Uh, in fact, quick note on me, if anybody cares, uh, the first 
car I learned to drive standard on before I got my Prelude was actually a 1500 Dodge Ram. It was in 2001, my dad had. And I was lifted, bigger wheels, everything, and I learned to drive on that. And uh, I've always, you know, appreciated them since then. And then the car I got really familiar with, my first car, was a 1989 Honda Prelude SI four wheel steering, which I did not realize at that time how rare those things were even then, and how sexy of a car they were uh, when they were done up right. And at that time, they were not known. And now, you may not be a Prelude guy, but honestly, if you look it up and take the time, they're very sought after now, and they're becoming more and more rare, and more and more that classic pop up headlights, JDM look that uh, you just can't find anywhere else. And uh, Anybody ever watching, let me know if you got one in good shape. Uh, I want a five-speed. I would take an automatic, you know, but it wouldn't be my baby. But I, I still want a five-speed no matter what. I want a four-wheel steering. I do not want an 88. I don't like the 88 interior. I don't like a lot of the little 88 features. Um, if I did get an 88, it would have to be a really low price and, and a hell of a deal. It's, it's just, I don't want the carburetor. I don't want any SI. 89 through 91, you got me sold if it's got no rust and at least running or in good shape where I can tell it back. So let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, that was my, my first car, and uh, I, I've been through a lot of stuff. But with this CRV, I wanted to make a kind of send off video. So to get back to it, because I'm in this video, it's already at almost 12 minutes right here. Uh, this is going to go to before the CRV ended. I'm going to say things about buying parts and things like that. And people help me and walk out. The parts are no longer available. I do have some, some CRV parts. If you watch this, I would say please follow my Instagram, CRV underscore Tom, or my Facebook. Um, it is easier to contact me through there. But if you don't have one of those, you can always you know contact me on, on YouTube. Um, oh, excuse me, guys. We're we'll going to bed after this. Um, but uh, this video, you know, going into that is going to have um, some of the stuff before the car. But I just wanted to show the car ripped apart and everything it went through and just kind of give it a send off on this video. So um, enjoy the content. It's not very long. Um, in a way, you can, some of you guys can say bye officially with it, uh, with me on the channel. And uh, stay tuned because there's there's still a lot more CRV content and uh, Honda content, Prelude content, all kinds of stuff coming. So, all right, YouTube, enjoy the video. All right, Instagram, YouTube, wherever I post this up, Facebook. Here's how far I got today. Uh, buddy Ishmael came over and helped me out a little bit with taking off some stuff. Um, he was a big help for sure. Uh, he was learning some stuff and he did pretty darn well. Uh, so we got some of the stuff off that he's keeping and he took it with him just so I have more room in the garage stuff till we get ready to do his vehicle down the road. If anybody needs anything that's left, small interior pieces, uh, stuff like that, I still got to get the motor and tranny out. Uh, I will have two all-wheel drive transmissions for sale, uh, automatic, um, but they're in really good shape. So roof rack, um, I will have an extra one for sale. Uh, there is still stuff on here but the motor is going to him um, good battery if anybody's local brand new just bought it back in November um, this hose kit that's still for sale the G plus hose kit the uh, run hard industries um, ground wire and battery terminal kit I'll have all that up I'll clean it all up and put it on there but yeah look at this stuff just one day if I had a little bit more time I'd probably have the motor out today all right, here's what we got done so far today. Uh, Ishmael came over and helped me out a little bit. Um, took off some stuff. It was great help, especially with uh, me still recovering from one part surgery. My chest has been bothering me a lot today. <laughs> um, so I'm surprised I got this much done uh, with his help and without it continuing on after he left. Um, hopefully should have the motor out. Uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I should have that motor out. But if anybody wants anything, Hit me up now, because as soon as that motor is out and uh, the rest of the stuff is uh, completely taken off, this thing's going to the crusher, so I still got to get the subframe um, subframe drop off. It's the only thing I got left, and then of course I'm keeping the differential and drive shaft. Um, 
and then the motor and transmission out and that's it and the roof rack sorry <laughs> roof rack will be coming off but yeah you guys want to see how hard she bent that arm look at that look how hard that she hit so hard that she broke the uh nut that holds on the rear of the uh, brake caliper to the actual spindle the nut it, it just it snapped right off um and along with a lot of other things so <laughs> yeah i mean it even did damage bending the frame back in the rear so that's just crazy after we looked at it so yeah hit me up if there's any uh parts you need still got the depot headlights there on the workbench all cleaned up um a few other things so hit me up all right guys